Previously on Captain Disillusion. In the not too distant future, in a dimly lit red room, a weird guy who spoke to kids was debunking a lot of woo. He came across a video he couldn't bust, but a wise old skeptic saved his ass. He handed him a cop off plot device and sent him on his way to Vegas to a meeting of the minds. Skeptic roll call. The flames are trying to Just shut up and watch how Captain D attended Tam Seven. Hey friends, I got my disguise and a chromodynamic shirt that'll really throw them off. Now it's time to infiltrate Tam. Come on. Las Vegas. It's changed. Unfamiliar places. Unfamiliar faces. And unfamiliar bodies. But it's back to the hotel for me. I'm on a mission. The Amazing Meeting 7. Over a thousand critical thinking enthusiasts have gathered to... Well, I'm not exactly sure what they're here to do. But they are a friendly, if at times, eccentric lot. The food is okay. The truth is skeptics have no business ever talking about religion. TJ, that's ridiculous. And if I'd known that young man would later become the president of the JREF, I would have been a little nicer to him. But no matter. Mr. Flair and I better find our seats. The lectures are about to start. <laughs> Series of meetings where Look at this. Off nice chairs. Yeah, comfy. And now we have quite a few more. But you Full plate. To, to Cat to hater. <laughs> you, you got screwed. Um, I like Phil. One time, he um, let me touch his meteor. What are you... What? At Broward College, after a lecture, he let me touch it. Would you please... And it, it was heavy and hard. Okay, you have to stop it. But there's another reason why there are so many people here, and it's because there are so many people here. Uh, I call so logical fallacy, point, sir. Seriously. Ago, this community of skeptics reached a critical mass, and this grassroots movement itself became the mainstream skeptical movement. I'm not sure exactly how that happens. Well, Phil, when you add things to each other, there become more of them. <laughs> we see out there so much. At Comic-Con last year, Bill had the audience laughing so hard... Why is this guy talking about himself in the third person? Well, that's Bill Prady, the executive producer of Big Bang Theory. Ah. that all I can do this morning is disappoint you horribly. In conclusion, bitches be trippin'. So, um, it's The Muppet Show with special guest Skeptic Magazine's Michael Shermer! You guys are my people. I mean, hey, it's Adam Savage of Mythbusters. All right. You know, Adam's Howard Hughes-style hair growth progression is really starting to worry me. Actually, my, what I want to talk about bears directly upon my introduction. Which I is, reject your introduction and substitute my own. <laughs> Hello. I'm, yes? I'm part of the Science and Entertainment Exchange. Okay. And one of the reasons that we've started this program that I'm going to talk about a little bit later right. is because there's never really been a better time uh, mm -hmm. to try and tap into okay. uh, this new trend, new uh, trend. having science themed shows on television. Okay. I'm going to look, show you look, the look I don't want to buy more. land. I don't want to buy anything. I have nothing. My wife filled in a form, and we have been played. Hey, you're talking I mean, to Shelly the Machine Levine. Look, thank you, no. All kidding aside, it was an interesting conference. From the doctor's panel highlighting the ignorance and harm spread by the anti-vaccination movement, to Steve Bauer's chronicle of sorting out late magician Jerry Andrews' amazing house, there were many remarkable speakers and topics discussed. But eventually, 
It was my time to shine.